Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is being brought to you by the Garnet Booster Club. From Hunterdon Central High School, we have two powerhouse wrestling programs facing off, the Phillipsburg State Liners and the Hunterdon Central Red Devils. Both undefeated, both head coaches from the same hometown, and both looking for their next win. Out of the gate, the Red Devils take Peberg by surprise with two pins. The first match of the night, Shamir Brogers runs through the double for the takedown, but Lucas Bakerian hits a quick switch and then hits the jackpot. A surprising six points for the Red Devils in five minutes and eight seconds. And after that, in the 220 weight class, Reese Young fights to sink the pin over Cody Krutz in one minute and 10 seconds. And just like that, Central leads Peberg 12-0. The State Liners would get on the board though. Heavyweight Patrick Sharp wins a decision over Angelo Crespo for the State Liners' first victory. After that, Cullen Day and Travis Jones win decisions as well for the State Liners, but they still trail the Devils 17-9. Then in the 132 weight class, a change for Central. Grant Block steps on the mat against Thomas Adobe, Block, usually competing in the 126, is asked to rise to the challenge, and he does. On top, he quickly goes from the headlock to cranking the cement job, settles his hip, but it's an easy decision for the refs. And after that pin, Central would win two more decisions, and Phillipsburg wins two decisions, including Brian Meyer in the 160 over Kevin Cereza and the forfeit for Lance Wissing in the 170, but it is not enough. The Liners get their first loss of the season. Central wins 38-21, redemption for the Red Devils. After a disappointing loss to Peberg last year, I caught up with head coach John cantagallo Rom after the match. We always know going against Phillipsburg that it's going to be a tightly contested match. Uh, we've gone out sometimes and thought we were in it like last year and just didn't pick up the bonus points that we anticipated. Tonight we knew it was going to be about bonus points. Um, you know, we went out and picked up a lot of matches early where we picked up pins, and that's really what swung the momentum in our way and allowed us to continue to wrestle well. Grant Block's match, we made a move at 132. Grant Block's typically a 126 pounder. Uh, we weighed him in up at 132 with Hunter Graff and decided when they weighed two guys in up at 138 that we were going to make the move and, and, and put Grant in the spotlight, and uh, yeah, he came through. I live in Phillipsburg, so I know the coaches well. Um, it's a good rivalry. It's great for the sport. Um, it's fun. It's fun to go out here and wrestle these guys. Even the matches we lose, there's an intensity. I mean, you see the stands are packed tonight. You don't get crowds like this in high school wrestling much, so it's awesome for the kids to be able to enjoy it. And Central remains undefeated here at home. Reporting from Hunter and Central High School, I'm Courtney DuPont, and you're watching Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown. 